Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about integer data type in Solidity. In Solidity, we have two types of integer data types. First one is INT. Second one is UINT. INT can hold both positive as well as negative numbers, while UINT can hold only positive numbers. UINT stands for unsigned integer, while INT only for integer. Signed and unsigned integer can be of various sizes. So in Solity, your INT can be from INT 8 to INT 256. In the same way, your UINT can be from UINT 8 and to UINT 256. Now, what do I mean by this 8 and 256? It simply means 8 bits, 256 bits, in the same way 8 bits and 256 bits. So this 8 bits and 256 bits are actually telling the range of these data types. So if you are having this int8 type of variable, in that case, that variable can hold 8 bits of data. In the same way, if you are having int256 bits of variable, in that case, that variable can hold 256 bits of data. And I'm going to tell you much more about it in our next slide. So int is alias to int256 and uint is an alias to uint256. So if you are writing int, let's say int num equal to 5, in that case you are writing int256 num equal to 5. In the same way, if you are writing uint num equal to let's say 1, in that case you are actually writing is uint256 num equal to 1. Okay, because uint and int are actually aliases to int256 and uint256. Okay. Now by default, int and uint are initialized to 0. So if you are declaring any variable, which is of either the int type or uint type, and you are not initializing that variable, in that case, by default, that variable will hold 0 as a default value. Because in solidity, we do not have any concept of null. Okay, so it will hold by default value 0 if the variable is declared as an integer data type. Overflow get detected at compile time. I will talk about this. What is this overflow all about? But for that, we need to understand the concept of range. So if we are writing int8, then it can hold values from minus 128 to plus 127. In the same way, if we are writing uint8, then this uint8 variable can hold values from 0 to 255. In the same way, if we are having int16, then this is the value that it this variable will be able to hold any variable that is of int16 type and any variable of uint16 type will be able to hold a range of values from 0 to 65,535, which is actually a huge number, right? Now you must be thinking how I'm getting all these numbers. So I'm just using a simple formula in order to calculate this range. Okay. And we will see a practical demonstration of this also. So just don't worry if you are thinking, okay, what is actually going on? So just don't worry. I will explain you with all the practical examples. First, let us understand this formula. So when we are writing minus two to the power n minus one, here n actually stands for this bits. Okay. So let's say if you are talking about int8, then we are actually writing minus two to the power eight minus one two Two to the power 8 minus 1 and then we are subtracting 1 from this whole value so if you will calculate this this is actually minus 2 to the power 7 so it is around 128 in the same way if you will calculate this again it is 127 sorry it is 128 and when you will subtract minus 1 then it will be 127 okay so this is how we are actually getting this range. In the same way, if you want to calculate for this, the formula is simple. You have to simply do 0 to 2 to the power 8 and then minus 1. And if you will calculate to the power 8, it is 256. So 256 minus 1 is, is actually 255. That's why we have this range from 0 to 255. Now let us see all this with the help of practical example on our Remix ID. So now let us take an example to understand integer data type. So let's say if I'm writing uint, for example, num, let's see, let me make this public so that it is accessible to the outside world, then num equal to five. Okay, for example, like this. And if I will deploy this, let's say if I want to deploy this, 
and if you will go below it you will see that the value the value which i will call okay so let me call this num the value that is written is 5 and if you will see here it is nothing but uint 256 so as we discussed in the slide that uint is nothing but this is an alias to uint 256 this is what actually it is proving that in the same way if you are going to do ind and if you will again deploy this you can see the same result when you will do num it is ind 256 and then the value 5. now let us talk about the overflow check right so let's say if i have this int 8 okay and as we have discussed in the slide that this int 8 can hold values from minus 128 to plus 127 okay so any value within this range will be acceptable to this num variable because this is of int 8 type so let's say if i'm writing 127 it is absolutely fine there is no problem in it but if i will write 128 then you will see that it will throw us an error why this error because it is a overflow situation right because this variable this num variable can hold values up to 127 only but we are actually over initializing it right we are actually providing it with a value which is more than 127 in the same way if you are going to do let's say minus 129 again you will see that it will throw an error because because it can only hold values from minus 128 to plus 127 right now let us see the same in uint type okay so for uint type as we have discussed the range is from 0 to 255 so if we are going to write a negative one in this case you will see that it will throw an error why because uint8 as a or actually not uint8 only uint as a uh, as a data type only holds positive number okay so i cannot have minus one here I can have a plus one here but not a minus one i can have zero here but again not a negative number let's say i'm trying to have 256 again you will see that it will throw an error that okay this is not within the range and this is a overflow situation okay so this is how we use uint in case of solidity and one more thing right one last thing that if i am only going to have let's say uint public num and i'm not going to initialize this particular variable now in this case if i will deploy this let me delete the previous one and let me deploy this once again if i will call this num you will see that now it is holding zero because as i said if you are not going to initialize a uint type or an ind type value variable actually then by default value of that variable will be zero and you can see here right if you are going to check for the int one as well you can see the same result so let me deploy it again checking num and it is again zero okay so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Meet you soon in the next video. Hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because I am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel. So meet you soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And do not forget, if you have any doubts, please comment below. Okay?